Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm going to pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I'm Whoa. it. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean. And you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that, there's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm going to go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said... No, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10K worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're a dirty, rotten cheater. I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait. Ladies, I'll buy you anything. No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're going to tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're going to tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words. Understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? 
No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy New Year. Year! Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Okay. You got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation, as they could be a potential threat to normals and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go. We're late. Wh where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. Let's see your mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. <sighs> but she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? She must be the one. It can't be. Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm-hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know. Uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten. No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The Prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. 
You have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? Happy birthday. Here's the gift from your soulmate. What does it say? It's an empty card. But it's the thought that counts. I love it. And you never know, maybe they forgot to write in it. Happy birthday. What is it? A gift from your soulmate. What does it say? Another empty card. Yay. Your soulmate gift arrived. I wonder what they got me. Wow, a blank card. We did not raise you to be ungrateful. My soulmate got me a car for my birthday with a note saying, meet me in the middle. Isn't that so cute? My soulmate gave me money and said, go to therapy, you need it. <laughs> what did your soulmate get you, Jess? My soulmate gets me a card each year. It's actually pretty cute. Oh my God, a credit card? No. Oh, like a love note? Well, not exactly. And what? Well, they're blank cards. Huh? But it's the thought that counts. And what's the thought in that exactly? That they're getting me something? Happy 17th birthday, sweetie. Your soulmate gift arrived. A blank card. What's the point in keeping these anyways? Happy birthday. Here's the gift from your soulmate. Let me guess. Another card. Not this year. What is it? I don't know. Open it. An invisible ink eraser? Here it is. Happy 6th birthday, Jess. If you're reading this, that means you finally turned 18 and got your magic eraser. Each year, you'll see that I left you a clue of who I am. I have brown hair, blue eyes. I was born in Georgia. I prefer cats, not dogs. And in your next card, you'll find the address to meet me on 1010. I threw away my 17th birthday card. Did you get a gift from your soulmate this year? Yeah, actually, an invisible ink pen. Interesting. You know how I mentioned they've been sending me blank cards all these years? Well, they weren't actually blank. They were written in invisible ink. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I know. I'm actually supposed to meet them tomorrow. The only problem is, is I threw away my 17th birthday card, which apparently had the address for where I'm supposed to meet them. Are you sure you threw it away? I searched everywhere. That sucks. I hope you're still able to meet them. Me too. Is everything okay, sweetie? I didn't keep the card for my 17th birthday. I told you not to throw it away. This isn't the time for I told you so, mom. You're right, but I think it is the time to tell you I kept it. Wait, what? Here you go. I thought you might want it someday, so I kept it for you. You're the best. I know. Time to meet my soulmate. I don't understand. They said to meet here on this date and time. Where are they? Sweetie, did you meet your soulmate? No, they stood me up. Some soulmate they are. I wish I could have called them. Well, you can always write. You know they like that. I hope they respond. Jess, you got a letter in the mail. I did? It's blank. I think I know who this is from. I'm sorry you thought I stood you up. I was there, I swear. You looked beautiful in your blue. But there's something you need to know about me. Me and the ink are a lot alike. More than you might think. I am actually invisible? To reverse this curse, I need you to fall in love with me. Once you do, you'll be able to see me. Fall in love with them? How can I fall in love with someone I can't even see? If you're willing to do this for me, meet me at the park again tonight. This is all a little too weird. You actually came. Wait, I can hear you? I just can't see you? Exactly. But some people don't like talking to air. That's why I didn't approach you the first time. 
So can you eat? Of course. I just prefer to do it in private because some people stare at moving pizzas. Fair enough. I already have our first date planned though. Follow me. I can't. Here, do you feel that? Yeah. Now let's go. We're here. You took me gambling for our first date? Yep. I suck at gambling. You won't with your invisible boyfriend. I'll tell you when to match and when to raise. You're a genius. I raise. He's bluffing, raise. I raise. I match. Atta girl. I don't know where you are, but we just won $10,000. I'm over here. And security is over there. We gotta go. That was the most fun I have ever had in my life. Whoa, slow down, my little poker star. We're not gonna be doing this every night. Why are you looking at me like that? I can see you. Wait, really? You can see me? But that means you've already fallen in love. What can I say? You're pretty charming, even invisible. So does that mean you'll let me take you out on another date tomorrow? Only if you ask me in invisible ink. Deal. I'm actually invisible? My soulmate's invisible? Meet me at this address to find out everything. This is a cemetery. Is this where they meant to meet? That looks like one of my cards. You can find me by the maple tree. Hey. Hey. Jess. Cameron. You're not invisible. We prefer to call it invisible. Less terrifying, more mystifying. We? Anyways, I'm so glad you came. Me too. I've thought about this day forever. I thought about it my whole life. I have to go soon. I can't stay very long. You can't? No, but this is giving me the peace I needed to move on. Move on? Goodbye, Jess. Oh, you dropped this. Cameron? I wish we could have had more time, but life had other plans until we meet again. Wait. But that means he died the day he was supposed to meet me. Cameron Anthony Folds died this Saturday on 1010. Sources say he was on his way to meet his soulmate for the first time when he got into a fatal car accident. There has been no statement from the soulmate. My soulmate who writes in invisible ink became invisible on the day we were supposed to meet. Well, you'll never be invisible to me. Ooh, mommy's makeup. No, you can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? I like your shirt. Thank you. It's pink, my favorite color. It is? I wouldn't know. I can't see color. Why not? 
Mommy, why can't I see the color pink? Honey, it's time we have a talk. You'll only be able to see color when you meet your soulmate. So that means it'll be a really, really long time until I can see the color pink? Hey, Brianna, what color is this pen? I don't know. <laughs> she can't see color until she meets her soulmate. Hey, babe, don't let them get to you. Hey, babe, are you still fine being with me, even though you're not my soulmate? Come on, you know I don't care about that. Let's go to the movies after school. Yo, bro. Hey, Jason. Brianna, you have to meet my buddy, Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Gummy, gummy. Who was the girl that left the house this morning? How do you know her? Come on, she was just a friend. It's not like that. What's my name? Come on, baby. Don't do this. If you didn't cheat, then tell me my name. Mommy, why doesn't Daddy know your name? Because, sweetie, Daddy cheated on me. When you cheat on someone, you forget the name of the person you cheated on. Hey, baby. Brianna, don't worry. I could never forget your name. I know. I'm just paranoid because my dad cheated on my mom back when I was seven. I love you. I would never cheat on you. Jason's having a party after school. Want to come? Sure. Hey, you made it. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, you're so funny and so cute. Well, you know, I... Blake? Uh, uh, bu bu baby, hi. Why don't you know my name? Morning, Daddy. I made you lunch, just how you like it, PB&J. Thank you. Honey, do you need a lunch? No, I got one. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day of high school. I'm so nervous. How about a homemade PB&J sandwich? Will that help? Of course it will help. Morning, Dad. You know what I'm really craving for lunch today? How about a PB&J? How did you know? Must have been a good guess. Dad? Dad? I'm off to college. I could really use one of your PB&Js. Honey, it's time to go. Are you ready? Where's Dad? He makes me PB&Js every single morning. Dad, are you feeling okay? Yeah, why? Your father's been dead for over 10 years. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss, are you Giselle? Hi, um, yes, my grandpa, is he gonna be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. <laughs> Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you going to call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's going to pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. 
You know what? I think I'm gonna call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? <laughs> Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look, I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes, I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Here, happy birthday, Brianna. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm feeling so weak. Oh no, honey, come with me now. Here, put this charger in your charging port right there. I've been secretly charging you every day, but it's time that you know. You're not like the other kids. If you don't charge yourself and your battery's gone, you'll die. You must keep this a secret, because if the other kids find out, they'll treat you differently, okay? Okay. I'm all charged and ready for the day. Welcome to gym class. Today we're going to be running 100 laps. Oh no. I'm gonna lose all my battery. You're a what? Nothing. Keep running! I... I can't. I'll be back, coach. I need more charge. What the... I need more charge. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why'd you follow me, you creep? Why is there a charger plugged into you? I run on battery. If I don't recharge myself, I'll die. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Oh no. I forgot to charge myself last night. It's okay. I'm already late. I'll have to charge myself at school. Hey, watch out! I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm just super late, so I was in a rush. It's no problem. Here, you dropped your bag. Thank you. Class, turn to page 69. I need to charge myself. Where is it? My charger is gone! Hey, Brianna, I know your secret. Derek told the whole school. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! <laughs> What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. 
Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, Bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. Oh, Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <sighs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. I got 69 crushes. There's no way that's true. And why not? How many crushes do you have? None, but I don't need any. Oh. Here, you drop this. Thank you. Whoa, I got one crush already? That was fast. How did my crushes go up that fast? I haven't even spoken to anyone. Hey, Brianna. Hi. Hey, Brianna. What is going on? I'm like all of a sudden popular. Whoa, there's no way I have over a thousand crushes now. I don't even know that many people. Um, Brianna? I think it's because of this. Oh. My. Um, Brianna, I think it's because of this. Oh. My. That is not how I remember it. Oh. Here. You drop this. Oh my gosh, it's hair flip, girl. Quick, do the hair flip. Uh. I'm so sorry. I'm running late to class. Look at Brianna sitting there. She's such a pick-me. I know. She's just sitting there like, pick-me, pick-me. You guys know I can hear you, right? Hair flip, hair flip, hair okay, flip. Okay, I'll do it. Whoa. Yo, I got that on video. Hey, bestie. It's so nice to finally be popular. Wait, why are my crushes going down so fast? You might want to see this. It's time for your fifth mark. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to be five. Congratulations. Yay, me. Time for your tenth mark. Finally. I'm so excited to grow up. And you're all done. It's time for your seventeenth mark. You're going to be an adult next year. There, you're officially seventeen. Now you only have one year to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's almost time for our yearly mark. Have you applied to any schools yet? No, I haven't decided yet. Well, now's the time to figure it out. We're getting our marks tomorrow. We're going to be adults. All right, it's time for your 18th mark. I hope you're ready for adulthood. Actually, I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back. What would happen if I don't get my 18th mark? Would they even notice I'm gone? I'm not going back there. Mom, I'm home. What? How is that possible? I only have 17 marks. Look who just turned 18. Yeah, I guess I am. Let me see your new mark. No, you're not 18. You only have 17 marks. That's so weird. I got my 18th mark. I must not be 18 yet. Look at us. We're 18 now. Wait, where's your 18th mark? I, I got my mark. It just didn't show up. I guess I'm not meant to be 18 yet. Did you hear? Her 18th mark never showed up when she got it. She's still 17. That's not even possible. Brianna? Uh, yes? Please go to the office. There's someone here to see you. Ooh, she's in trouble. Do you even know what you've done? 
You've messed with time as we know it. No one in the history has missed getting their mark. There's major consequences for this. What's going to happen is... <gasps> Mommy! I got 1,000 years! Shh! Don't say that so loud. Come on, we're leaving. But why? No one can ever know how many years you have. Put it to private immediately. Hey girl, why do you always keep your years on private? I just... I don't see the need to share it, that's all. He probably has no years left, that's why. Jake, don't be mean. Hey, Mom. My years are still going up. It's almost at 3,000. Can you tell me why it's such a bad thing? Don't ever mention this to me again. Now go to your room. Everyone reveal your years immediately. Who are these guys? The legend has it that the girl who receives over thousands of years in her lifetime is the long-lost princess. Everyone reveal your years. We must find the princess. They already are. Brianna's the only one who keeps her years on private. Reveal it now. <gasps> 3,000 years. Come with us. I'll be right back. Your driver should be here shortly. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me people were coming to the school today? I, I didn't know. Let's go. We're going home. But mom, I'm the princess. Come on. You are never going to leave your room ever again. Mom, no, don't leave me here! Mom! Hello there, princess. Are you a prince? I believe this is yours. A crown. It looks stunning on you. Here, take my hand. Let's get out of here. So you're the princess. Oh, we must get rid of those commoner clothes immediately. Follow me. Wow, this gown is gorgeous. Princess, your years, they're at infinite. But how is that possible? When the princess meets her soulmate, she gets infinite years. You must be my soulmate then. No, that's not possible. You have infinite years and he doesn't. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. Who else did I meet? Princess, it must be some kind of mistake. I know you're my soulmate. Will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you. You did save me after all. Prince? Prince, where are you? I need your help picking an outfit. I'm really nervous about meeting my real mother and father. Wait, what if the princess sees us? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's clueless. I have her wrapped around my finger. Princess, are you okay? Who are you? After all this time, you still don't know me? No. Wait. Everyone, reveal your years. We must find the princess. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. I do remember you. I have to show you something. Infinite years. So you're my soulmate, and not a prince? A servant boy? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I can't marry you. I must marry a prince and become queen. Are you ready to be married, princess? Don't speak to me. This is a transaction, not love. You will now be pronounced king and queen once your new crowns are worn. Wait! I object! Skip school or stay home? My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up mom, thank you. Hey Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Date? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all night. Hey girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? 
As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you a hundred thousand. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. I was so high, I Shut up. I you went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Just I'll keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Uh, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking hurt. Morning, beautiful. What was that? Mom? Mom? Yes, yeah, sweetie? Are you hearing voices too? Oh, honey, that's just your soulmate. My soulmate? Yeah, you guys can talk to each other. Sweet. Hello? Hey. This is so weird. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you that. I barely know you. Can I at least know how old you are? Yeah, I'm 19. Cool, I'm 20. Damn, 20? So no sugar daddy? How tall are you? I'm 4'11". Wait, so you're a dwarf? That's rude. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you are? I would say that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you I are? I would say that that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. What? Yes? Are you Giselle? Yeah, that's me. This is for you. Flowers? Who sent these? Who do you think sent them? Thank you. Did you really just send me flowers? Yes. Am I not sweet? Well, I mean, it would have been sweet, but I never told you where I live. Just say thank you. They stink, by the way. Hello? Why aren't you talking to me? I don't want to talk to you, because you're being very creepy. How am I being creepy? Well, for starters, how did you know where I live? Maybe I know you already. Wait, what? Simon says stop putting lipstick on. Simon says? What? Hey, Mom. What's up, hun? Who is Simon, and why is he telling me what to do? Oh, no, it started. What do you mean, what started? It's a game. You have to do whatever Simon says. If you don't, something terrible will happen. But be careful. It'll try to trick you. Yeah, I understand. Simon says go to school. I guess I gotta go to school now. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Giselle. 
So what happens when you don't do what Simon says? Simon says hold up two fingers. We're safe. I'll see you later. Hey, where's Jessica? She's not in class today. The game tricked her. She's gone. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. What do I do? I'll distract them. Run. Whoa, why are you running? I'm trying to get away. The Simon Says game tricked me. And now they're looking for me. I know a place you can hide. Follow me. Thank you. Okay, we're here. Thank you for bringing her to us. You set me up. How could you? It was for a reward. I really needed the money. You sold me out for money? That's enough. You're coming with us. We're almost there. I'm sorry, but where are you taking me? It's best not to ask any questions. Just keep quiet and follow us. Okay, we're here. Can you at least tell me where we are? We brought you to meet Simon. He requested to see you. Someone's calling on the telephone. Hurry up and answer it. They're going to give you a word and you must pass it on to the next person. The first person who says the word incorrectly dies. Your word is cookie. Again? They only tell you the word once, so hurry, pass it on to me. Cookie. Come here, Timmy. Cookie. I know the word, it's Wookie. Timmy! Hey, Brianna, can you come here for a second? Okay. Get in. I'm sorry, I got chosen to play telephone. Hey, Stephanie? What's up? I have to pass on a word to you. Get in. That's an easy word. Kevin, come here. Britain. No! <laughs> Oh no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Oh no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Brianna, hurry, pass on the word. This word is really hard. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Pass on your word. Now. Come on, Brianna, it can't be that bad. What? What did you say? Is that even a word? I know it's a hard word, Bessie, but you have to try your best. I don't want to lose you. Kevin, come here. Automatopoeia. What the? Jake, come here. Automatopoeia. No, Kevin. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Answer now or die. Your word? Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti? Anti-dis-dis- Disestablished men. Pass on your word. Give me a minute! Brianna, hurry, pass the word on to me. I can't, it's too hard. Teacher? Teacher, I have to pass a word on to you. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Easy word, you know I'm an English teacher, right? Jake, come here. Anti-disestablishment. <laughs> I'm getting a call. What the? Where am I? Am I dead? You're not dead. You're an afterlife sorter. Afterlife sorter? Who decided this? Jesus. <laughs> My childhood dog biscuits. <laughs> you are such a good boy. Wow, you look good. Jason, remember when you cheated on me with like 10 different girls? That was a long time ago. I'm a changed man. Go to hell. No! Hey, girl! Bestie, what are you doing here? I was dancing on top of a building and then I tripped. Classic bestie. Ooh, 70%. What? Nothing. Go to heaven, girl. Huh? Myself? Well, obviously. Obviously. 
Why is it not working? Baby, they're watching. Hurry up. Smile. Baby, smile. We've got a code red. Okay, okay, I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Your smile is looking a little low today. Yeah, it is. We're going to have to use the clothing pins again. You need a much wider smile than that. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bestie, your smile's looking a little low. Here, try these clothing pins. It's a trick my mom taught me. You put it right here. What's even the point anymore? Bestie, you need to smile. I can't lose you, too. We've got a code red. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. My boyfriend, my best friend, my five-year-old sister. Your mother would be very upset you're acting this way. My mother? Yeah, the creator of the Smiling Law. She told us to show no mercy to her children, but I figured she'd be upset if both her daughters were gone. Mother. Where's your smile? You're the creator of the Smiling Law. Is that a problem, honey? Think of all the people that died because of you. Little sister? She was only five years old. And she didn't obey the law, and neither did you. Where are the police? You're a monster. Looks like I'm going to have to get rid of you myself. Come on, honey. You've already lost everyone. You really want to lose your mother, too? You're the only one I wanted to lose. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kind of hot, too. I'm just in this for the money, though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a... Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes! Oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need... I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret. And one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just going to magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm going to use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh, well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes. <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that. I warned you. Come here. Your plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are going to get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite all right, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. 
Babe, I thought she was sick. No, mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little... I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, oh, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never get any American Girl set. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranates. No pomegranates. No! No, 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 no pomegranates! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks! I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes! I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand, introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that, I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Pick a color. Today, let's try yellow. Bria, is that you? Yeah, it's really me. I can't believe you're at our school. Well, that's a little odd, considering, you know, I've gone here for four years. <laughs> you're so funny. Smile. This is going on my fan page. You have a fan page of me. Of course. Basically, everyone does. I think this power made me famous. Can you sign my backpack? Sure. Can you sign mine? No, I was waiting here for her first. No, I was here first. Please don't fight. You're making her uncomfortable. I am not. Being famous is way harder than I thought it would be. They won't leave me alone. I think I see her down there. They found me. Oh, I think I lost them. Hey. Hi. I want to be famous. Nah, trust me, kid. You don't. Being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. Ah! No, there she is. Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too? Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that?
I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know. I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday. You can take your band-aid off. I know. I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding! Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <gasps> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. How many did you get? <gasps> Five thousand! Wow, baby! This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I, <laughs> I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's gonna cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no.
This it's looks like a letter from my dad. What, what was this doing in the trash? Ella, what is in your... Give me that. Get back. How dare you look through my trash, you nosy little child. Oh, what? You want me to give you more words now, hmm? Well, that won't be happening. And this letter isn't from your father. It's from someone pretending to be him. If you go through my trash one more time, you'll never get another word from me again. You missed a spot, Ella. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. You keep cleaning. See you later. Now's my chance to find the letter. This has to be real. Aunt Hilda tricked him into giving all of his words to her, and now he's stranded? This whole time I thought he was dead. I have to help him, but I need words. I have to help him, but I need words. Where are you off to? What are you... Oh, today's the first day of school. Well, have fun making friends with no words. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm late for work, kid. Excuse me. This isn't working. Hey, that old lady looks like she's about to... Oh, thank you, dear. I almost fell over. What's your name, dear? Oh, you don't have any words, do you? Well... I have plenty to spare. Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course, honey. Use them wisely. What's that smirk on your face all about? Excuse me? I'm making dinner. Do you want some? No, thank you. How did you... Who gave you words? You know what? Let me see that notebook, you secretive little child. Will work for words? You thought you could lie to me? Think again. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know, and I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally, I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words, and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> Go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect, because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested. But are you okay? I am now. 